All right, all right. Here we go again. Finally got a boat back out. My boat at the marina caught on fire, nearly burned down. Nearly burned the marina to the ground. Now, it wasn't that bad, but uh, melted the batteries down pretty bad, and thankfully somebody came by and uh, had a fire extinguisher and put it out. Panels there I just showed you that were on the trickle charge, or what, but that's a new trolling motor battery. Took that down, that house battery, and the third battery is fine. You gotta cut the cables. I don't know what happened. I got the mechanic coming out to look at it, but thank God it was uh, somebody spotted it before it torched the boat. Really, just mostly smoke damage. Nothing done to the motor or anything, but the fuel lines were right there, so could have been worse. And today I'm going to be throwing the little bass rod and reel and just working these shores here working the banks and i'm looking for some uh mayan cichlids so if i get any i'll throw them in the cooler they're an invasive species down here they fight hard they're good eating and um big bird flying by so let's see what we can get like i said i'm just working this little beetle spin they like bright colors and um Small baits, flashy, fast moving, but very aggressive. There's one. Not too big, but we'll get the day started. See, look at that. Yeah, pretty. Throat. What a cool fish. I mean, he's just stout. It's like all one height from his eyes to his tail. In you go. In the live well. Quiet down. Okay. That's one. Invasive species, technically. I mean, they don't even want you to let them go. It's so peaceful back here and quiet. And uh, it's just a ton of activity. The mullet really like it back here. Like I said it's mostly all mullet and tilapia, but oh, great gums. A little, a little snook. A little snookums. Look at this little guy. damage there so I'm gonna try to take a bite out of him <laughs> coming there it is a little better one that was cool right here in this pretty sandy area Little cool minnows there. Yeah, a little better. So oh, there he is. They're real pretty. They got like these blue stripes. Pretty red throat. Got some good chompers. And they fight hard too. This is the time of year to get them. The dry season. Lots of uh, good visibility, and like right now we're having red tide, unfortunately. And one thing that helps keep it out of the harbor and kind of makes it stay out towards the Gulf and the intercoastal is the fresh water that comes down from the Peace and the Mayaka River, because red tide can't live in fresh water. So you throw in a smaller bait and you're going to get these little guys that you normally are not going to get it. Throw in a bigger bait. That's a pretty one there, real clean. Nice shiny. No bite marks. See ya. Alright, left the uh, my lunch with uh, all important water and GoPro battery at the truck. But 
I was done fishing that section of the creek, so we're back on the boat. Let's head up, actually down the creek more. Preserve area, bird preserve, wildlife preserve, whatever. There he is. Followed it all the way out. And he was thinking about letting it go and just turning back. And I dropped it, just let it drop. He just had to have it after that happened. He said, Oh no, you ain't getting away from me. And he just snatched it. Into the live well. That's three. They get bigger, but not a lot. You know, these are these are average size right here. They're not a they're not a real big fish. The majority that I have caught have been on the bigger side because I wasn't targeting them and I was using a, a bigger, you know, bigger lure. Oh my gosh. I had the camera off like 38 inch snook just cruising along here. He literally just kind of veered towards my bait, took a look at it, saw me and just took off. Yeah. That wouldn't have been good. I hooked on one time one of these little beetle spins. Of course, I was just using like eight pound mono. He just just swam off like it never happened. Snapped the line. There he comes. Come on. Oh, that's a decent one. Yeah. There he comes. There he is. No, he's not a decent one, but. Usually once they turn around and head back for cover, you don't see them again. This guy, this guy wasn't giving up. Man, they're so pretty. Look at that. Like turquoise or aqua blue fins. I mean, that's, that's a cool looking fish. Look at them colors. Barely big enough to keep, but whatever. I know they like to hang in these cat tails. Well, that's enough fishing anyway. I, uh, let's see, what time is it? Hadn't been long. It's 12.15. I've been fishing for about an hour and a half, and we've got four, four in the box there. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'll see you at the filleting table. What do you think, Rush? You gonna eat something? Get him, Rush. All right, I'm gonna clean up these cichlids. There she is. And a snapper. Shut up. Hey, hey, I stop. There you have it. Slightly yellowish tint to it, but uh, it's cichlid, very similar to a tilapia, and it's very good eating. You gonna come with me next time, Rush? Catch a few, huh? You gonna help me catch them? You wanna move your face away from that knife? I'm gonna slash your face open. Funny meat. Brush. You're living life dangerous there, Bubba.
Well, that's all I got for you. I'm gonna wrap things up, but just got halfway done. I got a nice couple handfuls of fillets, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.